Hey y'all, uh, so earlier this week uh, we had a friend of ours uh, message us on Facebook and ask us if we had any suggestions on how to clean the awning or what to use to clean the awning. And I was like, yeah, we got a video about that. And then I went to try and find the video of it on our YouTube channel and I had the worst time trying to find it. And I realized that it was part of a Christmas video that we had done two years ago. So this week what we're going to do is I'm cutting that section out and we're going to post it here now. So if you're wondering a great way or a good product to use to clean your uh, awning, this worked really well for us. Check it out. And we'll go ahead and put a link in the description below to the Thetford uh, awning cleaning uh, product that we used. We'll definitely use it again. So the next project we're going to do is take care of our awning. So as you can see, if I pull this down a little bit here, we've been sitting under uh, pine trees for the last, I don't know, month or two months now um, here at our, our home base in South Carolina. Um, before that, we were under hardwood trees up in northern Michigan uh, and in different places throughout the summer. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and clean this awning and get it ready to put away. You can see that it's got, I don't know, bugs and just kind of dirt and what have you. You can see underneath here, these dirt stripes. And I tried washing that with just uh, water and that didn't do the trick. Right, so what so to take care of uh, these stains and stuff on here, um, I picked up this awning cleaner uh, from Thetford. I got it at a RV dealer. It says, spray it on, roll up the awning, wait for 30 minutes and then come back and unroll it and scrub any uh, stubborn stains that you have and then rinse it off. The lady at the dealership said it works really well. She said, roll it up after you spray it and then as you unroll it, scrub a little area at a time, spray it with water, unroll a little more and so on until you get it down and clean. They say it works really good. So I don't know, I kinda, kinda have my reservations if it'll work on stains like this. So we'll find out. Alright guys, so be prepared probably to get a little bit wet when you're doing this job and uh, uh, but it went pretty good, took some elbow grease, it's not like you just spray it on there and then it just rinses right off, at least when it's you know as bad as what ours was. But uh, if I pull this down, on you might want to watch out. Oh gosh. <laughs> I almost got Autumn. The right way to go. All right. Here, pull that. All right, so when we pull this down, that looks a whole bunch better. And then if we put it up here, you remember how it looked before, that looks way better. Um, and uh, we got a little cleaning too. Mm. But now another project done. Next one will have to be the roof, because mm. now with a clean awning, it makes the roof look pretty bad. Just from a standpoint of keeping the roof in good condition, we're going to have to clean that here soon as well. But we wanted to tackle this job before we left out of our home base because out here we can run a hose, wash the camper, we can it do whatever warm. we want. 73 and it's degrees. 73 degrees. So plenty warm to do it too. Um, I'm actually sweating. This is not sweat. This is water, but I'm sweating too. So, uh, 
Anyhow, but w this is probably not something you'd want to do in an RV park. No. It'd probably be frowned upon. So we'll get that done here. And uh, we're, we're starting to be uh, ready to head out to Quartzsite. A little packing up. Get a little Christmas done. A lot of Christmas done. A lot of Christmas done, yeah. So we'll catch up with you later. All of the children are sleeping. Oh, she's not sleeping. <laughs> oh, that was hard. So anyway, all of the children are almost sleeping. <laughs> They're trying hard. Hank is sleeping. The kids are sleeping, sort of. And Santa Claus has come to town. <laughs>